and welcome to the Musical Chairs Podcast, the only podcast that invites you to pull up a chair and take a listen. Now, I'm doing this podcast as a follow-up piece to a podcast I did a while back regarding artists and their artistry. And the fundamental question I posed was, can we disassociate the misdeeds of the artist from their artistry? In other words, if an artist does something bad in their personal lives, should it affect how we perceive and enjoy their music? And I gave some really good examples, uh, such as Michael Jackson and uh, Gary Glitter. And lo and behold, Gary Glitter is back in the news. And he's back in the news because he's been convicted in the UK of six counts of indecency with minors. Yes, and these are charges that stem back from the 1970s when he was at the height of his popularity. Now, it's no surprise to me that Gary Glitter, or Paul Gad, uh, that's his real name, uh, is being accused and has been convicted on these things. Now, if you can remember, in 1999, Paul Gad was living in Vietnam and was convicted for three years for uh, having sexual relations with a minor in that country. And then he was uh, uh, exported out to the UK. And in the UK, he was convicted of obtaining and possessing child pornography. So. Mr. Paul Gadd has a track record of having uh, thoughts and wanting to engage in sexual acts with children. So I'm not surprised that during his popularity, the guy probably had a lot of access to different people uh, and therefore, yeah, probably did the, mis the, did the misdeed. Here's my question. I'd like to ask this question again. When you go to a sporting event, be it football, baseball, basketball, badminton, cricket, curling, whatever the event is, when they play rock and roll part two, are you going to be offended? Are you going to be like, hey, that's not cool. This guy was a convicted child molester. Or do we own that song? Have we been able to extrapolate that song, extract it from him and no longer make it his and make it ours? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Nelson Velasquez, and thank you for watching.